want to talk to you a little about Xavier. Obviously, yes. you know, he st started the Army-Navy game, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden he kind of found himself out of the mix. He gets moves to slot back. Mm -hmm. But as things transpire and injuries bring him back to the quarterback room, what can you say about the character he's shown throughout? Well, we had talked early on this year, um, and, it's, and it's funny. I kind of had a similar thing in my playing career. Again, I don't mean to make it about myself, but but I can relate to what he's, what he's going through. But I told him, I said, X, just be positive. Um, we did what we thought was best for the football team. He's a good football player. Um, he wasn't in the top at that time, but we want to get him on the football field. So a kid like that that can run, create with the ball in his hands, you got to get him on the field. Um, and again, it's, it's kind of funny because right, right around the time the injury started happening, it was right around the time he was getting ready to start playing a lot at slot. So, mm -hmm. but, um, but he came back, you know, he didn't, you know, he came back right back in the room. And, and again, he's always been a great leader, love his demeanor, the way he carries himself. You know, and, and it's good to have that back in there. It's refreshing, you know. So, but he's taking it well. Not this, this Saturday, he just did some good things. Um, threw the ball well, but again, missed some key, some key plays he could have got us into. And that's, that's my job to to help him get better at that. I mean, he did say he was kind of rusty, but it's no excuse. But again, happy happy he's back, and um, he's happy to be back. And this game's got to keep pushing forward. So for the fans who are watching this video at home, can you explain about it? Your career at Hawaii, mm -hmm. you were recruited as a quarterback, but then you got moved to slot back. But didn't you flip flop back and forth a little flip -flop bit? Flip flop back and forth, you know. And again, I, I I never complained. I was a I was a team player. I can tell you that for sure. Um, team was more important to me than anything. Um, I had a lot of fun. Scored some touchdowns. Played a lot of football, and I was in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. uh, life was great. So I'm not gonna go, I'm not complaining about it. What uh so. Uh, how long did when he got moved back to quarterback, mm -hmm. and then initially he probably wouldn't get a lot of reps. But then, when Ty was you know taken out of the uh, equation, mm -hmm. then he had to suddenly get more reps. How, how long did it take to kind of get him back up to speed? Well, no, again, it's, it's kind of like riding a bicycle, really. You know, um, he's a great athlete, and the, the bye week definitely helped. Um, Ty got hurt that like that Monday's practice, but um, again, he came back in the room and and again shook off a little bit of the rust. He just played well um, and just did some good things for us. Now, again, he, he didn't see some things that, that I wanted him to see that, you know, that would normally clear to him. But, but again, that's just, again, a little rusty, I guess, to knock off. But adjusted to it really, really well. And, um, again, now he's, he's back. And, again, just, just the demeanor, the way he carries himself. He's a true leader. Um, guys respond to him. He's really, really hard on himself. You know, and you want that in your quarterback. So I'm satisfied. He has plenty of game experience, but most of it was, of all of it, was in the previous offense. How much does he need, did he need to learn more about the current offense once he got back to quarterback? Well, I've always said, you know, when you're playing, when, you, when you've played quarterback and you move to slot, you should know a lot of things, you know, as, as far as the offense. Yes, mm -hmm. we put in a lot of new things. But I think always he was always thinking as a quarterback. He always think he thinks like a quarterback. So okay. come back into the room. So a few things he had to pick up on, especially in the passing game. Uh, some reasons that were different, but uh, he adjusted to them. And again, he did miss some on Saturday, but um, but it wasn't that big a transition for him. Just a matter of you know getting the reps, and it was good having that week off to get him all those reps. And then he came into game week, and uh, he had a really good solid week of practice. Coach Newberry mentioned that he's throwing the ball better. He did mm -hmm. make make some nice throws mm -hmm. against Temple. What, mm -hmm. what are you seeing? Do you feel like he's improved his pass? He has. It's just a matter of, of doing more of it. Um, just like with Blake, you know, Blake didn't throw the ball much in high school, and he improved as a passer. You know, I'm mean, again not as good as I want him to do it, but he improved. And for X, you know, his he's a senior now. You know, he's working on his throwing for for a very very long time, and he's gotten so much better. Um, he's throwing the football with a lot more velocity, a lot more. Accuracy. Um, again, I'm not the one he had to I mean on Saturday, but you could have put it there where you just catch it on the run, have to dive for it. But yes, he's throwing the football, more confidence, um, accuracy, and again, the more and more he gets reps at it, the better, better he'll get. So you mentioned maybe some misreads. I mean, he had 30 carries, which is somewhat mm -hmm. disproportionate, especially when you think it. Every other ball carrier had half that amount. Mm -hmm. it, was that some misreads where he kept when maybe he should not have? Yes, you know, he missed some reads. And sometimes, you know, again, you, you want to get the ball in, you know, the best player's hands, you know, and he's good with the ball in his hands, you know, and sometimes it works out that way. So, but again, it's his option offense. You have options, you know, you, you read things. If people give you the quarterback, he's going to take it. So, now, he did miss some most reads on that. But, but again, did some good things. Um, I was happy for him that, that, that he, you know, played well to a certain extent. Again, still missed some, some key reads, and he was really hard on himself, and he understood that. And that's the one thing you, 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 you want to see is a kid that really cares. Right. Uh, I'm not saying our other guys don't care. I'm not saying that. But he was really, really down after the game, and, um, and that's what you want. I had a nice, long conversation with Jacob Busick last week. 
he actually needed some a couple of weeks. I'd asked for him for a few weeks beforehand, and he told Scott Strassmeyer he needed some time to process all this. It's <laughs> uh -huh. been tough on him. Yeah. Can you talk about what it's like when you have a senior captain that suddenly finds out his football career is over? Oh, I mean, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it, it was tough, you know, in the initial um, the initial weeks, you know, uh, going through it, you know, it, it was tough for him. It was, it was tough on all of us. Um, but I, the one thing I know about Busick is uh, he's, he's a fighter, you know. Um, he, he's determined to do uh, whatever he has to do uh, to keep his playing days going. Um, I mean, just to give you an example, uh, the day after uh, he had uh, the surgery, I was talking to him on the phone. And um, I want to say it was a Friday. And he said, yeah, coach, he said, I'm, I'm at home now. but." Um, you know, it's, it's just my arm, so I'm looking forward to doing some squats on Monday. Right. You know, so that's that's the type of type of guy he is. You know, and um, but it's 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 been it's been tough without him. You know, physically. You know, mm -hmm. but but mentally, I mean, he's been there every step of the way. He's on the road with us. He's at the hotels. I mean, he's over individual with us, helping the young guys out. So it's been good to look over and, and have over, nine, over 95 still standing over there. Do you feel like he's still fulfilling his role as captain? Oh, there's no doubt. There's, there's no doubt at all. I mean, there's no, there's no doubt. I mean, any any other person would, would, would be going through this injury right now and, um, you know, come 3 o'clock, you know, when we're having our position meetings, I mean, he, he's right there. Mm -hmm. He's sitting right there in, in the back of the room. And he, he's sucking up everything, you know, because um, he understands, you know, uh, my, uh, the, the lingo of the D-line mm -hmm. where um, like the young, the plebes, you know, may not yet, you know, mm -hmm. and he does a good job of bridging that gap and kind of explaining it to them, you know, um, you know, really behind closed doors and nobody else is really watching. So as you reflect on his career, do you feel like he had a pretty good career? I think he started playing quite a bit as a sophomore and then obviously last season played very mm -hmm. well. And uh, that's why he said he was most disappointed because he felt he was at his peak of his game here as a yeah. senior and was going to have a great senior season. Yeah, yeah. I mean, starting as a sophomore, you know, um, you know, going through those, uh, those those learning curves, you know, there, uh, and then coming back as a junior, um, you know, third year within the defensive scheme, um, really showed. Mm -hmm. um, started coming out of, on his own, on his own shell, you know, uh, as, a, as a pass rusher as well. Um, and then came into the senior year, I mean, you, you look at his body and everything, working hard during the off season, um, got, his, got his stuff up to 260 pounds, you know, and was able to maintain that through fall camp in, in the early part of the season. Uh, he was ready to go. I mean, yeah. he, he was, it was almost like having a finished product out there, yeah. you know. So, um, you know, that, and it's kind of disappointing that, that, you know, that the injury occurred, you know, but, uh, but we're making the best of it now. So is he helping Jay Reed out? I mean, obviously you're fortunate that you have another defensive end who's pretty talented, mm -hmm. and he has been able to step in and, you know, not been a tr the type of drop off you would normally expect when you mm -hmm. lose a starter the caliber of music. Right. Oh, yeah. but yeah, those two's like they, those two's like two peas in the pod. Mm -hmm. I mean, even on the road, I mean, they're always together going over the scheme and everything. And I mean, I, uh, we put playing Temple doing warm ups. I look over and. and and Justin stretching, you know, and there's music right, behind, right beside him in his stretching, in his gear, right. you know, talking to right, talking to Justin the whole way, you know, mm -hmm. going over the game plan together, you know, visualizing and things like that, which is it's just awesome for me to be, be able to look out and see that.